Well, we're just hearing now from Janet Murnahan. That is Sarah Murnahan's mother. And basically what happened, John, is uh, the family got the word late last night at about 1030 that a donor uh, lung had become available. Uh, just about 30 minutes ago, uh, we got word that uh, Sarah Murnahan uh, will go into surgery this morning. And also now, John, I do have a statement uh, from Janet Murnahan. That is Sarah Murnahan's mother. She says, quote, God is great. He moved the mountains. Sarah got the call. She will be taken into the OR in about 30 minutes. Please pray for Sarah's donor, her hero, who has given her the gift of life. Today, their family has experienced a tremendous loss. May God grant them a peace that surpasses understanding. Uh, once again, we've been covering the stories you know for some time about Sarah Murnahan, 10 years old, suffering from cystic fibrosis. Her family, uh, desperately for a year and a half to two years, trying to get her a lung. And they basically challenged the system. Uh, they sued the system, uh, the Department of Health and Human Services, because she is under 12 years old. Uh, they felt as though she was not treated fairly under the transplant system. She, uh, they, their feeling was that uh, those who are 12 years and older, according to the Health and Human Services policy, had more access to adult lungs, adult lung donations. And so basically what they did, John, is they sued. And uh, that was last week. A judge ruled in their favor. And then Earlier this week, on Monday, in fact, uh, United Network for Organ Sharing, that's basically the organization that oversees all of these lists, maintain the list, had an emergency meeting, and, and basically uh, had an interim change to their policy. So now that people like Sarah, children like Sarah, another young man who's there as well, a little boy named Javier Acosta, he's 11 years old, in the same situation. For now on, these children will all, at least for the next year, have access uh, to adult lungs based on meeting certain criteria. So this is a huge, huge step for the family. Last week, they had a, a huge legal step. Today, a huge medical step. Now, as Sarah heads into surgery, now that she has received a donated lung.